Oh, hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing today? I know I just said I'm sleepy, but I'm also kind of like, I'm at the point where I'm sleepy, but also like hyper. And this energy will probably dissipate very quickly. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. <laughs> you guys doing all right? I know you guys said that. So Schultze, you said you were really bored. Hopefully this will help, but I'm not sure how entertaining dot flow will be. Also, hey, Cloudy. Long time no see. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 You have returned. Yes. And time for another Yume Nikki fan game stream. Today we are playing Dot Flow. We have played it for a good few weeks now. Quite a few weeks. How many times have we played it? Like three times? Um, and now we are going to try and get an ending. Hello, Tuna. Also, Hope you're doing okay. Schwarzes Herz. Schwarzes Herz. Schwarzes Herz. Thank you, Mel. Thank you. Thank you for the resub for six months. Holy shit, you have now become your own little Frange. Enjoy the little badge. And I am doing well. Yeah, I am doing well. Thank you. But, um... You're fine? Okay, I'm glad you're doing fine. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Thank you for the four months, Keto. Tier 1, 4 months, pog, 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 pog. Also, now I owe, owe 20 more squats. You know, I haven't done squats in a good, like, month or two now. And now I owe 190 squats for you guys. I really... Things have been stressful for me, so I have not had the energy to exercise, which actually should... I should really be exercised, because isn't that good for stress relief? Right? Exercising is good for relieving stress. But, um... Yeah. I'm, I hope you guys are having a good Friday night. I'm playing some Earthbound music right now. Isn't it funky? Have you guys ever played Earthbound before? I once did 100 squats in a row. Holy shit, your legs are jacked. Did you, did you like, die? Are you a ghost right now? How are you able to do 100 squats all at once? Holy shit. Oh do 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 Oh this is the town music, yeah. You're alive? I I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Schultze is a ghost. Was a real trippy experience. Yeah, it is pretty trippy, isn't it? I first um played Mother, the first Mother game, actually, for the, what is it, the NES? And even that was pretty trippy, but Earthbound just takes it to a whole other language, uh, a whole other level. Oh, they love Earthbound Cabal? Yeah, I mean, rightfully. Body weight squats? Just body weight squats? If you, if you ever see me, you'll know why I think squats are so difficult. Well, they're not difficult, but just, like, I can't do more than, like, 50 without needing a real break. Because I I am blobby as Frange, and I'm blobby as my human form as well. Not, like, blobby blobby, but, like, like, I'm not overweight or anything, but I have no muscle. I have no muscle. Is those tiny legs? Yeah, I can't. I hope to reach my true form one day and have buff as fuck legs. It's hard to find an earthbound localized game. Yeah, although on, um, yeah, it is still quite hard because the only way to get it legally at a, at a fair price is to get the new 3DS um, and then buy it on the eShop because the new 3DS allows you to buy and play SNES games through the eShop. So I think that's like the only way to get it at a fair price at this point, because even the Switch, the, the SNES games on the Switch, if you have Nintendo Online, don't have Earthbound. You're proud of your legs? Heck yeah. Proud of... I'm proud of your legs too, Schultze, if you're proud of your legs. I have zero idea about what's happening by 11. I'm also crying. <laughs> yeah, I heard that, that er 
Mother 3 is very emotional, especially since there's that whole storyline with like the brothers and stuff. I never played any of the games fully, but all I know is that uh, there's some familial tension and some tragic stories happen in there. But I do hope to play all of them through entirely one day. I think I, the closest I've come to finishing one of them is finishing Mother 1. Mother 1 I've come the closest to finishing. Uh, and I really enjoyed it too. I, I like like the factory place, if you guys know about that. Uh, there's like a factory area. I like the design of that. You're proud of your legs, but disappointed in your knees? Aw, yeah, the knees can be- your knees can be like little bitches sometimes. Like, your legs can support, like, doing certain exercises, but your knees can just like, what? Be like, what? Let me take a little sip. Okay, so I'm doing the thing again where I- I act, I, I forgot to change it this time. I set it as dot flow for my category, even though we're just chatting. So let's make up for that and actually go to let's go to dot flow now. Well, let's do that. Let's play dot flow. Cause we do want to get at least one ending before the end of today's stream. And uh, that might take a bit. Let me see. We have twenty four effects, so we, uh, there are twenty four effects in the game, so we need three more effects. Holy shit! Oh, Eve got confirmed for a remaster. Wait, how 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 recent was this? How recent was the uh, transformation? Or not transformation? What? Why did I even say that? How recent was the confirmation? I had a base case of runner's knee. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I had some friends who have like, what is it? That thing with your shins. Shin splints, yeah, because they used to run in high school. True ending time? Oh, I don't know if we're gonna get the true ending today. Um, well, we might get the first two endings. Uh, there's a, and then the third ending is the true ending. So, um, cause true ending requires you to get like a lot more. It requires you to collect other things, and the amount of them is not trivial. Let me see. Oh, I really like the music here. So the true ending... You have to become Rust, then collect three empty boxes. Which I have no idea how to do that at the moment. <laughs> how the fuck do you even do that? This week? Oh nice, so it's very recent. Now let's wait for the Witch's House? R Witch's House already got a remaster, like a long time ago. Yeah, like Opalite said. Also, hey Kibo! Welcome! How's it going? Let's get out and let's get flowing. Get to the dot to the flowing. Yeah, it got a remaster like a long time ago. So, uh, you, you go ahead and, and go get it. <laughs> yeah, go get it. Also, let's see. So there are 24 effects. We have 22 here, including the instructions. So we need three more. We don't have the cat effect. I remember we were trying to get the cat effect before, and it was being a little bitch, so that might take a while. We the cat effect. Um, we got arms last time. We don't have the television effect, and we don't have the plant effect, I think? Yeah, I think those are the last three that we need. So we need the cat, television, and plant. So for the television, let's go to the Famicom world. How the fuck do I get there? It's like that one witch house. Um, where I thought that using the the raining effect would do something, but it actually didn't. Sadly. When YNFGs come up with creative ways to enter the dream world. 
Oh yeah, like how do Dokutsuki gets wasted off of an old science kit. It's like an induced, like, fucking trance. She's just getting high as fuck, man. She's just tripping. Alright, so... To go to the Famicom world, we go to the Pipes world. My favorite place, because the Pipes world literally only has two things. The iron pipe and this thing. Which I kind of appreciate how barren the opening worlds can be in Dot Flow, just because the more interesting things tend to be deeper down. Let's see, down the staircase, go all the way to the right and head up to the roof. Okay. Whip, 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 whip. Whip, 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 whip. Whip, oh. You forgot to do that last time. Now, since you're the creator, you can just make anything canon if you want to. Yeah, I could literally just make anything canon. Like, um. I remember when people were trying to figure out what was in her hair, right? Um. I. What I think. What I decided was in her hair. It was glass shards originally. But then people came up with theories like. Strapnel? Uh, and Doritos and air fresheners are just random ass shit in her hair. And I also was just like, okay, that sounds really funny. Actually, um, it could be that too. Because <laughs> that's actually really funny. That she could have just like random stuff in her hair as opposed to just glass shards. Real deep dreams are always the weird ones? Yeah, right. Wait. This is... I don't remember this path being this long. I don't remember this. What? Okay, so it's the path to my left. Okay. So this is actually where I'm supposed to go. Flamin' Hot Doritos? Yeah. Uh, people were like, there's just Flamin' Hot Doritos in her hair, because it's like, you know, triangular and it's red. Uh, so she just uses it as like a snack for later. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, with how I pictured Dokutsuki in my mind, she's just like, she just doesn't give a fuck. So I can see her doing that. All the above. If I must have a past, I'd like it to be multiple choice. Yeah. <laughs> like, Dokutsuki is just, she's been through some shit. She just doesn't give a fuck anymore. Um, let's see. To get to the Famicom world, instead of heading north, go south until you barely see a well. Okay, so we have to go right. Let's see. I don't think we have to go all the way here. So we have to go until we barely see a well. Here? Oh, I see. I like the idea of entering the alternate world by the protagonist writing a story. Oh, yeah, that sounds really interesting. Like they're creating a story and the story is their dream, right? And they're kind of exploring all the different paths that they could be writing. How the fuck did I miss this before? This looks like a fucking Final Fantasy game, actually. This looks a lot like Final Fantasy. Let me see. Is this a staircase? It said it wanted me to go in the staircase. If you walk in and out of a room 50 times, then that will happen in the story and you can't undo it. <laughs> so, like, every key action, like, say there will be triggers in, like, say you, when you trigger an event, it will record that in your overall story. And then when you get out of the dream, you can reread that story. Is that like what you're talking about? That actually sounds really interesting. Follow the room until you the first split in the path. Okay. We can explore this area a bit more once we get the effect. 
because I actually want to explore this area a bit more. Take the south and enter the staircase and then take the door to the right. I don't know what that means. It looks like Dragon Quest 1 as well. Yeah, just like really old uh, NES games. RPG overworld theme? Yeah. It would affect the ending by making the story end up being novel tier or absolute shit. <laughs> um, get the best ending by, by performing... by making the best story. Is this it? Yes, television rules the nation. Oh, she has a little, like, the, the squeak, squeak face. Oh, that's cute. Alright, let's see. What else is in this world? So, one effect down. Two to go. I swear, if there's, like, nothing else to find in this world other than the effect, that would be kind of sad. So there's a staircase here and here. Also, just let me know if, if the music is a bit loud. It looks a bit loud on my end, but I'm not sure how it ends up uh, sounding to you guys. You get the ending at any time, but it's really fickle on how it actually ends. So you have to, like, get the... Music is fine? Okay, that's good. It's a bit loud? Okay. Let me turn it down a little bit. Okay, hopefully that's a bit better. Thank you guys. Thank you for the feedback. Oh. Cause yeah, it was looking about equal to my voice. Uh, my voice volume. And usually that's bad. I wasn't sure. Slappy. Slappy. We slappy boys in here. Perfect. Nice. I'm glad. Oh. Looks like some there's some kind of altar here. I wonder what these dungeons are for. Bam. Okay, I don't think I'm getting anywhere from here, so... Also, for me, dot flow is like really loud. So I tend to turn my volume down during dot flow streams, so that's probably why I don't get as uh, surprised during sound, of, of, of sound effects during dot flow streams, because my volume is just really low. But I just turned up the volume just for you guys, so... Better luck next time! But now it's kind of hurting my ears, never mind. Turn it down just a little bit. Sag, yeah. No farts during dot flow stream, Sag. Is that a picture? I'm not sure. It looks kind of like a person. Okay, that's it? Okay, I think that's it in this world. Well, Alright, so... Next effect is the plant effect. So it says to follow the gu guide for black hoodie first. So let's do that. 
No farts during dot flow streams, Sag. <laughs> yeah, dot flow streams, farts are not allowed. Let's see, what is the effect for getting back to the Nexus? I think it's this one. <laughs> oh, I love you you um modified the emote. I like that. I like the like the I, I'm doing the, the just the gesture right now, but like the the finger guns underneath your your face. Like the hmm. I really like that one. And that gesture. It makes things makes things funnier. Well. Alright, so we're following the guide to the plant effect. Follow the black hoodie to reach the industrial snow world. Thinking Pog. Yeah, thinking Pog face. Uh, brain champ. Uh, think champ. I guess that could be a, a name for it. Also, hey, hey, Venji. <laughs> damn, I just came from Venji's. Get raided. God damn, I'm getting raided right now. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, Venji. How could you do this to me? How could you raid me? Nah, I actually really appreciate it. Thank you for raiding me, guys. Um, welcome to the stream. I am Doodle Frange. I am a round green Frange VTuber. Round Marshmallow Frunch. Um, today we're playing Dot Flow, which is a Yumeniki fan game. And uh, we're just kind of chilling because it's been a long day for me. And uh, our Yumeniki fan game streams on Fridays are usually just the time to like sit back and chill and stuff. Um, but yeah, welcome Bree. Bree Beans, welcome. And Venji. And Lethal Lucidity, welcome. And thank you for the follow. Budgie Hop. Thank you so much. <laughs> can't believe you're getting raided, right? I can't believe it, dude. Hands up, it's a raid. Oh shit. Raise my nubs. Raise my nubs. Wait, one second. Raise my nubs. <laughs> also, love you too, Brie. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Best Whittle Doodle Frange. Yeah, I'm just like here existing and being a blob. Yeah. So, uh, guys, feel free to stick around if you want and um, just, you know, chill. We're just kind of like conversating while we play the game because these games tend to be really laid back. So it's kind of like half just chatting, half wandering around the game. Lurking but love your little frog. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. And I hope you enjoy your lurk. Do you bounce like a ball? That's a secret. I hope you don't try it out. I hope you don't try and see if I can bounce like a ball. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thank you, Cabal. So, let's see. We are following a guy to... So we're trying to get the ending, one of the endings for this game at least, during the stream. And uh, in order to do that, we have to we have to collect all of the items, or all of the effects. They're called effects in this game. And we have like two more we need to uh, collect. Don't give me any ideas. Hey, hey, you don't know where I live. You can't try it. I'm safe for now. All right, thank you, Venji. Thank you so much for the raid, and I hope you enjoy your lurk. And it is quite late, so I don't blame you for being sleepy. Um, so I hope you're able to get some good rest. <gasps> oh shit, oh no, oh no, he's breaking out. Schultz, he's breaking out the chainsaw. Here, here. You pull out a chainsaw, I pull out a chainsaw back. You can't fight me. I'll crush you. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Where do we have to go next? Um, go northeast from the door, and you should see an entrance blocked off by a smoking pipe. This is northeast, right? Top, top right? Yeah, thank you for using the lurk command, Bree. 
Enjoy a little lily pad nap. Let's see, um... What's this? Let's compare chainsaws. Ooh. Compare your chainsaw to my chainsaw. Your chainsaw is looking mighty uh, shiny and 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 sharp. <laughs> yeah, enjoy your lurk, sleepy peeps. What is this? Am I going the right way even? Oh. I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to go, but I'm also intrigued. I kind of want to... Oh, what is... Oh shit, did I just go in a one-way? Oh no, I didn't. I don't think I've been in this area before. Oh no, I have. I have been in this area. Never mind. It's just... <laughs> Brap? You trying to wake up the sleepy peeps with your large, with your loud ass fart? Did we just want to wander in a cult meeting? Yeah, it does sound like that, doesn't it? Okay, so this is just the usual way that you get past here. I was like, I don't remember this. We were here like a few streams ago, but I think that's like a new area, so I always forget that's there. Like a new area for this version. Alright, so interact with the flower. Blah blah blah. However, instead of going through the door, interact with the vine at the end of a hall and go back the way you came. Oh wait. Okay, so enter the doorway when the flowers block the way. But in interact with this vine instead? Oh, okay. And then go back. And then go right. Oh, that's so weird. I don't- I think- I think I remember doing this in the original game. I don't remember. <laughs> Figured it had been a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's the new area and I was like, what the fuck is this area? What the fuck? I just remember because the people are like- the, the people are- new? Like the sprites are new? I don't recognize those NPCs from a long time ago. So enter the further most, furthest most door on the right here. And then, uh, ka -chow! We got the plant effect. Now we can become plant. Discard humanity, become plant. Holy shit! Oh! And now we can't move. <laughs> uh, now you can't move because uh, you've become a plant and now you're like in place. Okay, now I just reset myself. How is anyone supposed to figure out any of this? Yeah, um, just like, uh, what is it? What do you call it? You try things and you fail and you try them again. New smile sprites, Pog? Wait, are those smile sprites? The guys that are hanging out at the edge of the hallway? Is that smile? That's horrifying? Yeah. It's cool. Alright, so we got the plant effect. And now let's try to get the effect that was causing me so much trouble last time. Um, the cat effect. Trial and error. Yes, yes, exactly, Caval. It's basically trial and error. Okay, so let me wake up first because I do want to save the fact that I've gotten two new effects. Oh, hello, little blood stain on the floor. How are you doing? I'm fairly sure it's supposed to be him. Oh, I didn't see his face, so I didn't... I didn't really put the two and two together. But that is interesting to think about. Reject humanity, become plant. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so get to get the cat effect, we go to the neon world. Annoying ass neon world. And then we want to go to the hospital area again. Like, this was the place where we were like, okay, we go to the hospital area and then we go through this maze and then we try to figure out which way to go, but we have no idea where we're supposed to go.
do do I do like this area though. I like the little blue and red uh pill dots. Oh, it's smile before he got his eye tattoos. Okay. So he's always been kind of like a delinquent type dude. That's interesting. The four-way parting, take whatever path has the most blood. Yeah, I remember this guy and I was like, what the fuck am I- where am I supposed to go? How long has she been shut inside her house? She hasn't left her room in like a week. Is she not starving? She has her ways. She has her- maybe she has- she's stocked up on food. Maybe she eats her own poop. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe she, like, photosynthesizes in front of her computer. Okay, so take whatever path has the most blood. I think we got to the part where we got to the bone maze, but I had no idea how to get past that. Is there a Yume Nikki fan game where the protagonist even has a toilet? <laughs> That's true. They do not have a toilet in, like, any game. Okay, this is the bone maze. Yeah, she's one of them hikikomoris. But, um... Wait, actually, I think Mong Jung Mung had a toilet, but that was only after you were able to get out of the room. And... Only after you were able to get out of the room and see what was outside of her room. And the outside of her room had a toilet. Like, there was, like, a toilet the bathroom outside her room. Down the ladder, go to the sewers. Go left and see it till you see a bright doorway with railing on both sides. Oh yeah, yeah. Mong Jung Mong had a toilet, but I don't even know if she used it. Oh, here it is. Bright doorway with railing on both sides. Okay, and then keep going left. Yeah, yeah. The waterfall on my right. And go up to go to the city coast. Oh, so we're here again. The fuck? How did we miss the effect? If we were here before, we spent a lot of time in this place. Ignore that pile of duty in the corner. I can't leave my room for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Do we actually not have the cat effect? Do we really not have it? God damn. So keep going left. And we have to go to the rainbow maze. Okay. Let's go back to the rainbow maze. Kapow. Remember this bop, guys? From where you enter the larger area? Yeah? You'll want to go down and left and enter the first door you see. Here. Cat jam. Franz jam. Doo doo jam. Keep going as far left as you can. Okay. Key thing is to avoid going up until you can't anymore and enter the door. Oh, okay. So you just keep going all the way down? Is that it? Holy shit, this place is large. I think we just go here. The rad music? Yeah, it's pretty pretty rad. Okay, so there should be an area in here where there's like a cat wandering around. Oh yes, here. Hell yeah, we got all the effects, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hell yeah. Oh shit, wrong one. 
Oh, we're a little kitty cat. Oh, look at us. Look, go. Yeah. Wait. Oh, that's so cute. And we actually turn into a cat <laughs> instead of going, yeah. Well, that's it. We did it. Well, that's that's it for the first two effects. I'm, I'm sorry, the first two endings. So, let's see. Endings? So, first ending is collect all 24 effects, then you just try to go outside. Um, the second ending is when you drop all of the effects in your computer. And then the true ending is you need to get the empty boxes and become rust. And I forget how to become rust, so I'll have to look that up. Yeah? Yeah? All right, let's wake up. So let's do a little save. And then let's try going outside, guys. Become rust? Yeah. Yeah. This game is about rust. Rust. Only rest. Oh, we're at a rooftop. I wonder what's gonna happen. What are we gonna do? Oh. And we're dead. Hell yeah. Never saw that coming. Especially in a Yumi Nikki fan game. Okay, so that's the first ending. Understandably, it's not the ending we want. Or not the most interesting ending. So the second ending, big oof, yeah. She's, you know, just kill you. She just, like every single Yumi Nikki fan game protagonist, she just throws herself off a building. Not every single one, actually, but just a lot of them. So the second one is we drop all the effects in the dream world. And how we do that is we drop it into the computer. Oh! oh. The fuck? What the fuck? What was that? Holy shit. Also hate this. Yeah, I have the chainsaw out. <laughs> Holy shit, I forgot. I forgot that that happens. Instead of dreaming, we just saw that. Instead of dreaming, we just saw that weird monstrosity. Also hey, Pup Lion! Thank you for the raid! You didn't remember that? I'm glad I caught you by surprise. Yeah, it very much surprised me. But hey guys, how's it going? You were playing Lost in Vivo, nice. Um, hello, I am Doodle Frange. I am a round marshmallow frange, and I like playing chill games, especially Yume Nikki fan games, if you know know about them. But thank you for the raid, guys. How'd your stream go? Franj, what the fuck was that? I don't know, man. <laughs> Some kind of nightmare. But, um, Pup Lion Raid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, everyone. Dot Flow. Oh, do you know about Dot Flow, Cherry Furby? Yes, I do have a chainsaw because I was threatening someone in the chat. <laughs> but, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Feel free to stay if you want. Um, our Friday streams. We play Yume Nikki fan games and they tend to be really chill. It's mostly just like um, wandering around and chatting with you guys. So yeah, it's, it's pretty chill. Sleppy Friday times. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Thank you. I'm glad you like the chainsaw. I'm very proud of it. I love my chainsaw. Went good, got a headache. Oh. I hope your headache gets better, Pup Lion. But... Thank you, I'm glad- uh, thank you for wishing me a good rest of my stream. Um, I hope you're able to get some rest. Take care of yourself. But, um, so we were trying- so this stream, we're trying to get the endings in this game. 
Uh, there are three, including a true ending. I don't think we're going to get the true ending this stream, but we're about to get the second one. Uh, but while we were trying to get the second one, we saw this really weird, scary scene when we went on the computer. I think that was random. Um, <laughs> you guys, if you guys saw me, I was probably like just really freaked out right when you guys raided me because we were seeing the scene. Yeah, no problem. Have a good stream. Dot flow is so good. Dot flow is very good. So yeah, so the second ending, we have to drop all the effects. Uh, walk to the center star and confirm. Discard all effects? You discarded them? Okay. Let's- Oh, well. <laughs> so that happened. I was not expecting that. We just get kicked out of the dream world. Now let's go outside. Once again. What are we gonna do this time? Are we going to fling ourselves off a, a building? Maybe? I don't know. Hey, okay, so we're at the roof again. Oh, there's Chainsaw Maid. Hello, ma'am. You want to you want to get me a coffee? Like you usually do? You got me you got you make some good coffee. Oh. And now she's carrying her body. And I don't know what happened here. Did the maid kill her or did she carry her body after the fact? Or is this, oh wait, is this another point of view of the first ending? Because the first ending, you just see the blood stain. But in this ending, you see the chainsaw maid carrying Sabitsuki away. So I think this is just the same ending, but different, kind of. You just see more of it. Okay, so that's more interesting, but now we want to get the true ending, which will involve us becoming Rust, <laughs> however we go about doing that. We died from some kind of disease. Oh, that makes sense, actually. That makes sense. Because this game is really about, like, decay and Rust. And our maid is carrying us. Savvy became Rust. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Because it's clear that Savvy isn't well. She is not well. You look You look at this... You see a little bloodstained kun here? I think that shows that Savvy Tsuki is not doing, doing alright. <laughs> alright, so let let me see. How do you become Rust? Do you just see all the events? <laughs> oh, not again. Does this just happen every time we get an ending? So everyone's like decaying. Okay. <laughs> that gets me every time. It's just really freaky. So I think she's just having a nightmare of everyone just decaying. Okay, broom. And then, let's see. Let me look up how to become rust. Uh, dot flow. Mm. How do you become rust? Or are we already rust? I'm not sure, because it says that rust can't use effects, but we're using effects right now. Now's the time to view all the un all the lock unlocked areas. Lo, a pale girl and enveloping her was death. Yeah. Is that a quote from somewhere? Yeah, so all the unlocked areas, I guess I can look at the event guide. So let's see. Uh, 
Um, let's try going to school. Because I know that there was, um, we are rust right now. Was that the, the whole, um, was that the whole scene that we saw is us becoming rust? How do we know that we're rust? Is it just that scene or is there any like changes from revelations and fi finally a pale horse and its rider's name was death. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So let's try going to the um, school world because I know that there's an event there that we couldn't see before. That's the only place I remember. <laughs> yeah, that's the only place I really remember too. For some reason, I'm really on edge ever since seeing that that one scene. Like, I see little movements out of the corner of my eyes and I'm just like, rust? Rust? What? Oh. Okay, so we're just looking for an entrance to some place. Your sweet cream cheese flavor. That sounds good. I like sweet cream cheese. Do, do, do. What, what did you eat? Did you eat sweet cream cheese and that's why you're sweet cream cheese flavor? From what I remember, her sprite is slightly different. Yeah, it didn't change the rest in the menu, so I don't think I've actually become rest. Um, Because it said... I, I'm looking at the wiki. It said... um. It's available after collecting and dropping all 24 facts. Oh. Oh, wait. I think I need to drop the effects first. Yeah, yeah, I need to drop the effects. <laughs> I see that now. Okay, let me wake up. So let's go back. <laughs> Yeah, my effects are still here. After reading the wiki, I was just like, oh, okay. I need to drop my effects. Thank you for reminding me, Opalite. Where will I be without you? Right. Yeah. Discard all effects. Oh. Wow. And now we are Rust. We are rust. Da -da, da -da, da -da. You eat regular cheese? Regular cheese is good too. Well, everything sounds really creepy. <laughs> Y'all know how to make a Wikipedia page? Uh, Google. Destroy rust destroyer of all cars? <laughs> oh. I don't know how much I like this. I'm kind of... Okay. So now we can access the old areas that we couldn't find before. But now we have to walk around without the speed effect and that will be a pain in the ass. So let's see. We are breasts. <laughs> yes, we are breasts. We are breasts now. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, that is the dream, right? You wanna you wanna become breasts? 
No broom? Yeah, it, it's, it's a big bummer that we can't use the broom. And I think some of the events that we wanted to see, you can only see um, with if you have certain effects. But now we're in endgame, so we've already seen all the events that we need to see at this point. But we can always go back to a previous save file and see those events. I am alone, rest, walking through the whole dream world. Maybe it's worth checking the new area, the blue rooms? I'm, I'm not sure what the blue rooms are, exactly. Oh, hello there. Oh, there, little dude. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, that Kaibutsu just turned into a little rust creature, so I guess I don't have to worry about getting transported anywhere because of them. Can you put the chainsaw away now, please? Sure. Here, here. I'm back to regular old me. You missed me? You missed a nice, friendly frange? Do you remember the room where we saw Sabi with the slew of bottles and shit around her? Oh yeah, that. Um, I forget exactly where that was actually. It it would be worth checking out though. I miss squishy Franz. Yes, I am back to being squishy. I was always squishy, but now I'm squishy without a chainsaw. We, it would be worth going back to that room again, just to see if it changed. We back here again. I don't know if I want to go back here again. Wake up. Oh. I guess that's how we wake up now. <laughs> we just rust our way out. We just, we don't even pinch our cheeks. We just rust, become rust. All right, so let me see. I guess, let me look up how to get to the blue rooms. Dot flow, blue room. called deterioration disposal and how do we get here so we have to go to that new area with the black hoodie effect y'all ever just rust yeah sometimes I do man mm-hmm mm-hmm Entrance, utility, pole, apartment, snow, world, disposal. Okay. I guess we can go there. I think that was the area we went to before and we were like, what the fuck is this area? Rust. Rust. So I guess we could just go to that new area. Yeah, Sabi Tsuki be looking a little rusty here. Like, if you guys noticed... I'm not sure if you can notice on such a small display, but she looks kind of... She looks a bit paler than usual, and that's saying a lot because she's really pale. And she also has like some grayer shadows that make her look a bit more tired.
Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I want chipu. Hello, little guy. I can't kill you this time because I'm... Mm, I don't have the iron pipe, sadly. Am I supposed to go here? No, this wasn't the right way. Sorry, we have to go to the snow world. A sickly pale? Yeah, she's like very, very sickly. Okay, we go here. Woo woo. And go to northeast. Imagine eating Dokitsuki, Dokutsuki's flaming hot Doritos. <laughs> They would be really stale, but I would eat them with care because they were kept safe in her shaggy hair for all these years. They'd still have their kick. You know, maybe she could come up with her own uh, concoction for a spice. Make it extra spicy. Hello, bathtub. Which one is smile? Are they just all smile? Oh shit. Dude, Sabitsuki used to be uh, a fucking... Oh, I remember this guy. Did she used to be a uh, delinquent? Don't, wait, does she can't- does she actually make spices? Hasn't played? <laughs> wait, you haven't played bo Broken Bottles? No, nah, she doesn't make spices, but I imagine she's a scientist so she can make her own fucking flavorings for food. I can't imagine how good they would be though. She dabbles in that artificial flavoring shit. Do, 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 do. I think this is the way to the blue rooms. Haven't played yet? Oh, that's okay. Honestly, it's like over a decade old now, so it's fine. Do, do. Okay, we here. So has this- so I know that there were like experiments done on like children and shit. But is this kind of like what these children become? Oh. I'm not sure if I remember that bubbling mass being there before. Like, the, the children kind of just became either delinquents, outcasts. Oh, she's shaking her head when you interact. And they just kind of wait to die. There you are, Sabitsuki. Well, nothing changed here, but... She's been through a lot. Oh? Is this Sabi's bats backstory? Yeah. Um. Well, someone's approaching her and trying to kill her. Let's see what happens when we let this play out. Is that herself? Does nothing 
Okay, it just stays like that. Sag for Sabby. I'm sorry, dude, you had to go through all this. Poor Sabby. Yeah, very poor Sabby. She's just waiting to die at this point. Okay, so the quick way to get the ending would be to just collect the three boxes and then get the ending. But I think I want to explore a little bit more since the world does change in various ways due to you becoming Rust. And then you also are able to access... Um, well, are the areas that were cut off? Those are the areas where we can get, we can get the boxes, right? But things do change due to us being uh, Rust now. So I kind of want to see those changes. What's in there? A little sailboat thing? Or is it like dust or powder or something? Mm. Yeah. One second, I'm moving my mic a little bit. I'm sitting back a little bit. Mm. I'm just reading the, um, there's a dot flow dot wiki dot dot com and I'm just reading the air, the the entry on this area on the area that we were just in called disposal I thought the mic noise was the game <laughs> nah that was just me moving my mic let's see what areas could we not see before Oh, so I'm looking at the, the list of events that we can see, and apparently the the whole movie that we saw, that um, what when we went on the computer and we didn't actually go into flow, we just saw this like whole cutscene and then we woke up again. Apparently that's called Gore Demo, and we have to collect all the effects without killing any NPCs or raising your erosion counter. And then the movie will play. But, um, I don't know how the fuck we got that because we killed a lot of NPCs. <laughs> um, so, but I guess we got lucky and we saw it. So, yeah, yeah. We, we, I guess we got a little lucky there seeing that weird ass uh, cutscene. Okay, so actually I'm gonna go and try to collect the boxes and we'll just see the differences along the way. And if we want to see the extra events that we missed, we can always do an extra stream for that. One second. Now you wake up. You're looking quite rusty tonight, my fine lady. Did we get lucky? <laughs> Did we really? Yeah, I... I'm not quite sure if we got lucky there. It was cool to see, though, but... Was not 
Was not expecting that. Okay, so let's start off with the Ortico box. Must be false, I've seen it before. Yeah, I think maybe it used to be you had to like do it without killing anyone, but now it's just, you see it all the time. Wellness pack, thank you, Cabal. Sit up straight, stretch. Take a little sippy. Sip. All right, so we want to go here. We want to go the same way we went to get the cat effect, I think. I know I didn't get the erosion counter. Oh, I, I know I did because, I know I did at least because we saw that blood stain on the floor. So I know that I raised my erosion counter at least a little bit. I think we reversed it though because I, I used to have two blood stains, but then I only had one. I think it reverted itself. How do you reverse it? I don't know, man. How do you reverse the rest? So yeah, it seems like the path that we're taking so far is pretty much the same one we took to get the cat effect. We could probably look up how we're able to reverse uh, the erosion meter. Oh, that was quick. Okay, we here. Okay, we go back here. Jump, jump. Oh, hello, little rust child. Fancy seeing you here. I don't like how those, so those little like red things, they get faster like really randomly. Like they're not super fast, but like randomly they, they start speeding up. They get like really speedy. And I don't like that. Go left, take the first upward path. Hello, little rust dude. Hello, little rusty. And then we just kind of absorb him. Um, interact? Go down? Okay. There it is. Oreko-chan. Yes. Our sweet Oreko-chan. Okay, so we got this far in a previous run. Not in a previous run, but in a previous stream, but we weren't able to get all the way to the end because we weren't rust yet. Beep. Kaboom! Hell yeah. Oh. Cracking my knuckles. It's interesting. Oreko is the one that makes all these machines, right? So it's interesting to see like where these machines are in Sabitsuki's memory. 
Oh, Oreko's gone. Oreko used to be in here. We weren't able to get this far before, right? I think this is new. Hello there. New. Yeah, it's not like new new, but this is new in this run. Hello, Sabitsuki. We got one box. So we saw an Oreko in a test tube, and now we say, see a Sabitsuki in a test tube. Hello, Betty Moi. Welcome to the stream. Sad little Sabitsuki. I feel bad for her. Oreko is like her friend, and now she's not there anymore. Okay, so I think we can wake up from that. This is Oreko's laboratory? It might be. I, I can't- I, I'm not used to her waking up with rust like that. Oh, there's the second blood stain again. Welcome back, Bloodstain. Nice to see you. How how was your how was your vacation? Always nice to see you, man. Seems new to my recollection. Okay, thank you, Kabal. Um, so the next box the next one is the school. We want to go kind of the same way that we went to get to the sewers. So let's just go to the neon world. Cool machines, though. Yeah, she makes cool machines. I like that steampunk aesthetic. It's steampunk, right? I'm just- I'm thinking about the- the new area with the delinquents in them. I think it was really nice that, uh, Lol was able to add that new area in. Definitely expands on the backstory. Is it steampunk? Chat, please come through. <laughs> yes, tell me. Does the- is this classified as steampunk? Is the Oreko's- is- are Oreko's machines classified as steampunk? I guess it would be hard to tell now that her machines aren't on the screen anymore, but... One other thing that I really like about Dot Flow is the music. Like, it's definitely a lot more minimalistic compared to other Yuminiki fan games, but it definitely fits the atmosphere. Like, a lot. It does its job. I don't think there's a track in this game that is really bad, in my opinion. Even if it doesn't fit as like a- oh, oh, oh! Even if it doesn't fit as like a standalone track that you would just listen to in your free time, it definitely fits whatever area it's in. The neon- the rainbow maze, though, is a fucking jam. Hello, round bone. Yeah, that's fine, Cabal. I wasn't really trying to force you guys to determine it, especially if you guys weren't able to see the machines at the time. Uh, 
Um, let's see. So we go to the sewers. Go left and onto the gray platform at the bottom of the screen. Okay, here. And we just go to want to go to the giant slime boy that we've been seeing hanging around. Hello, little Rustkun. How you doing? Oh shit, yeah, he just got really fucking fast. Thank you for your input, Cabal. One second, let me turn this up a little bit. So, from the rusty pier, you go up. right up, and then, oh hello, little rust boy, and right, as far as you can, okay. Oh, who did? Oh, hello, little, little pink guy. I'm down. Thank you guides for making it so I don't have to traverse all these mazes because I'm really bad at traversing the mazes. Right? And up. Although I, in my free time I do just like traversing the mazes like really mindlessly. But I imagine it's not... Well, let's just say I'm less patient when I'm on stream. Interact with the street lamp? We just interacted with that, right? The little street lamp boy here. Mazes. Mazes are great, aren't they? Long stairs. Oh wait, no, this is- this is Smile. Hello there. Well, I can't- I can't, uh, intimidate them with my pipe anymore. Miss the slime effect, so I understand. Yeah, because it's like, when you're on your own, there's no one watching. You can, like, take the most- like, the non-optimal routes, or, like, take a long-ass time to do a simple thing. I understand that. I do that a lot. But w when other people are watching, it's just like, you, you kind of want to do things a bit quicker. Like, you still want to experience the game, but... Less wasting time is better. What? Hello there, school! I've always wanted to go back to school. Just kidding, I don't. I am okay with not being in school anymore. Yeah, well. You can't get me. I get that, yeah. When I reach my breaking point, I look up the effects, so I miss that and the Monoko effect. <laughs> yeah, the, the the arm effect is is not obvious on how to get which is why I had to look up a, a guide for it there are a bunch of rust guys in this area from what I remember And well. Okay, this isn't where we need to be. I think we go down further. <gasps> well, he just came out of- Okay, that was not fair. Okay, that was not fair. He was right next to me when I came into the room. Alright, you guys ready?
I, I remember I didn't like this event. <laughs> Isn't there like a whole event? Or is that a different event? I'm not sure. Oh, hello there again. Well, fuck you too. Okay, bye. Okay, I think that's a different event, actually. Because there's an event where the whole school becomes, like, corrupted. But I think you need an effect for that. Or you need to go to a certain place. Let me see. It's a different event? Yeah. Hmm. You can access this event as Rust by following the path described above. However, instead of Kaibutsu... Oh, okay. So you can have, you can access this event as Rust, but it'll be slightly different. Yeah, I remember that ev event. I remember I did not like it. <laughs> okay, so it looks like there's a different path there. Wake up. I kind of want to see this event, so let's see if we can get there uh, during this stream. Because it's a cool event. It's rare? Oh shit. I don't remember this background. Is it- is it like a random chance? I thought that was like, um, you could trigger in some way. This is a cool background though. This is really cool. For when I remember, oh fuck. Can we try? Well, let me try and, and do it. Maybe my frange luck will pull through <laughs> for this event. If not, then we can just continue on to get the last box. Frange luck is only for Yume Nikki fan games? Yeah. And because it's only for Yume Nikki fan games, it becomes even stronger. The luck is even stronger when I'm playing them. Is it here? Go straight down to you see the entrance. Mmm. Is the rare thing the ability to see the entrance that takes you to the corrupted school? Maybe. Because I feel like the entrance might be here. But I don't see it. Yeah, and then we just loop back around. So I think my frange luck didn't pull through this time. N let me let me look it up real quick, actually. The entrance appears when you get the chance. Okay, that makes sense, because I have not seen that entrance so far. But let's see if we can get the last box, and then maybe next stream we can see the true ending and then also try and get um see a bunch of the events. Let's wake up. Ohio. Alright, so hospital is the last box that we want to get.
So it says that we want to go into the pipe world. And kind of go through the apartments to get to that one um, isometric pathway with like the rain and the and the square tiles. <sighs> I'm so tired. Oh yeah, for for those of you that didn't know, uh, quite a few of you know though, but I did an interview today for a company. You guys have probably known that I've been wanting to leave my current job for a while. So yeah, I had an interview today. It went all right. Uh, I guess I'm just hoping now. But it was like four interviews back to back. It was like four hours of interviews. And after they were done, I kind of passed out for a few hours. Understandably. Take the path along the right. Hello, little rusties. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the applause. And thank you, Cabal. I'm... Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um... I'm I'm very hopeful as well. I don't want to get my hopes too high, but I all I know is that I did my best and hopefully the best was enough. So thank you for being excited. I'm happy that you guys have been so supportive. That's really nice. Especially since it's been like a tough decision for me. Right, so we need to go to the elevator. Yeah. Cabal heart. Frange heart. Frange love. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Uh, let's see. Keep going right and then leave. Okay. Damn, look at you go, four interviews? It was four interviews for the same company. Because they do this thing where like, if you get, if you get to the final interview or final round, you have four interviews back to back for the company. Which is a lot. Go left and enter the hospital? Okay. Oh shit, yeah, it's it's a lot. I would rather have not done it all at once. That's just kind of how they did it. Let's see. Go up and enter the door to the far left to enter the meatworks corridor. Okay. Also, hello there. Hello there. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. It sounds grueling. Yeah, I think it's really un- They're, They probably would be accommodating if like you literally couldn't do it for four hours. Like, if you had like a condition or something where you couldn't concentrate for that long of time. Um, they would probably, you know, make an exception for you and split it up. Or if you like just couldn't fit it in your schedule, like four separate hours, especially if you're working. Let me see. Head up to enter a bloody hallway. Oh, I think I know where we're going. We're going to the children. We're going to see the children again. We'll be like, hey, long time no see, how's it going? And they'll be like, it's it's going awful. That sounds fucked, but you did it. Yeah, I, I was able to do it at least. Hello, guys. You miss me? I sure missed you, especially since seeing you reminds me of my dark past. Oh, 
Oh, look. I'm kind of bloody. Aren't I kind of bloody? Hello, children. How's it going? You doing all right? All right. Good to hear. Just making my way through. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces pass. Oh, I am definitely more bloody now. Can we check the disposal or nah? <laughs> Wait, check the what disposal? We were already in the disposal area a while ago, but also hey Shuckle, you came at the perfect time. Really perfect. Well, goodbye. I guess this works since I don't have the iron pipe. What happened here? Uh, we went through a bloody hole in the wall. I remember this event? Yeah. It's, it's the room with the hook's blue background. I can look that up, but I think we just, we just went there. Or at least this this uh, Wikipedia page that I went to calls the area the new area that we were in, uh, like the alleyways disposal. So that's what I'm thinking the disposal is. And now it's back to the regular- oh, oh. No, I don't want you to catch me again. We might actually get the true ending today, guys. And then, uh, next week we can do more events. You guys ready? You guys ready for the ending? I don't know if I'm ready, honestly. How many saves do we have? We have quite a bit. So after doing everything we did, we became Rust, we got three boxes. Now let's go into flow. Let's, let's do it. Let's go into the, the flow and then there will be something new waiting for us. Hello there, elevator. Fancy seeing you here. Let's go! Does this look familiar? It, it looks a little bit like the elevator we just took for the last event. I wonder how they'll be related. Yeah! Yeah! It's called the morgue. Oh, okay, we can look at the morgue later then. Um, one second. Let me look that up. Dot flow morgue. Um, I do not see. Do, do you have a link to it, Opalite? To like a Wikipedia page uh, saying how to get there? But let's continue on with the- I swear, if it starts spamming me with these rust guys, it's gonna slow down my game so bad. <laughs> Got it? Alright, thank you, Opalite. Yeah, it it's starting to spam me with it. Okay. Oh, it's called the hospital. Okay. Kap kap Wrap. Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> way to lighten up the mood, guys. Wait, we were just at the hospital. Yeah, we were just at the hospital, uh, Opalite. Come to talk with you again. But, uh, we were at the hospital in order to get to the elevator to, to get that last box. So we just passed through it. But if you want, we can, we can, uh, if there's something you think we missed, we can go back. I'm sorry? No, you, are you saying sorry for the fart? Sorry you farted so loud? Yeah, it's gonna start spamming me with these hand waves fumes away. <laughs> it's fine, I like the smell. The farty smell. Uh oh. Sabi, you're not looking too good. I didn't fart. <laughs> yeah, whoever smelt it dealt it. Also, yeah, Sabi, you're not looking too hot. I don't. Uh, you doing okay? I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not sorry. For we already passed it. Oh. It's not Sabby anymore. Yeah, it's not her anymore. She's looking like one of those rust creatures now. Like you see the little horns. Chat passed it too, yeah. Well, I can't open up the menu. I'm a bit scared. Honestly, I'm scared of... Sabitsuki. Oh, she's smiling. Oh my god. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. F, F and sexy sax. Oh. Do, 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 do. Oh, you guys, isn't this a funky ending? This is the true ending of Dot Flow. Dot flow, you may Nikki fan game. Nothing bad happening here. She's just walking through on her daily walk through the park with her headphones on, listening to cool ass music. Holy shit, listen to this. Look at that NPC, he's pretty cool. True ending TM, right? <laughs> what are you doing, farting there? Uh, don't pay attention to the dead kids on the ground. Uh, that, that. <laughs> That has nothing to do with anything. Um, it's just your imagination, right? Okay, so nothing bad happening here. Especially not nothing bad happening to little kids. Uh, they're not dead. They're, they're, they're just having a nice dream right there. But we have our headphones on. So it's, um, you know, everything's fine now. Also, look at that girl that we totally didn't kill in the game. Got a true ending? Hell yeah. Give a romantic review of the next NBC? What about that monochrome girl? I'd give her a little smooch. I'd also tell her sorry for killing her. Dead kids, yeah. Whoa, no, no, actually, no, not dead kids, yeah. Dead kids, no. No. No dead kids. We don't like dead kids in this house. 
Wow. Do, 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 do. And I'll do the wellness pack too. I, I just remember the wellness pack. <laughs> Stretch. Also, there's rust over there. Rust looking mighty fine today. Also, hey, cries. Hello. You came just in time. We just saw the true ending of Dot Flow. We don't like dead kids in this house. Yeah, totally not. Also, there's a smiling Sabitsuki. Uh, I don't like... I don't like the look of her. Hello, little rusty boys. Hello, how are you doing? I totally don't, um... hate you for making me into rust. You finished playing Uno? That's cool. That's cool. Uno's cool. Also, hey, Oreko, I'm sorry you couldn't save me. I turned into a little asshole. Oh. And that's the game. <laughs> but, so that was Dot Flow, true ending. We became a thing that's not even ourselves anymore. Yeah, what What do you mean? Are you still on speaking terms? I think Oreko is most shinkade. She's already fucking dead. Um, that was abstract. Uh, my theory... There's probably a lot going on, but my theory is that Sabitsuki... Oh, Una often makes players furious. Yeah, it tears pe friendships apart like Mario Kart. But, um... So, what I think is Sabitsuki was part of this group of children that were experimented on as kids. I guess. That's what I'm thinking. And those kids went on to either die or if they lived... They were kind of treated as outcasts from society, or they were just so mentally unwell that they couldn't fit in with normal society. So, uh, we see those that like alleyway thing with like people just hanging out, being delinquents, fighting each other, uh, doing drugs and shit. Uh, I'm guessing Sabitsuki was part of that crowd. So was Smile. I'm not sure if Smile was also part of the group of children that were in, in experimented on. Probably not. But he was also just a really messed up guy as well. Um, and I guess as a result from being experimented on, Sabi was very ill. She wasn't really healthy. And so I guess it, some sort of thing like made her mind decay to a point where she just... I guess kind of like... Not like Alzheimer's, but something similar where... She just became someone who wasn't really herself anymore. She just lost all touch with reality. And became Rust. Whoa. And then she became uh, such a danger or menace to society that the chainsaw one was just like, Oh yeah, I have to kill you now. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. You're too dangerous. So, yeah. That's my theory. I could probably think it out a little bit more, but that's just me uh, spitting out my thoughts right here on stream. Alright, so it's getting a bit late. Let me see... Oh, the morgue. Uh, Opalite wanted to go to the morgue, right? So let's see if we can go back there. Parasite controlly sat... Controlling Sabi called Rust, maybe? Yeah, that would also make sh make sense, especially with the parasite imagery in this in this uh, game. Because those little rusty boys, you know, those little red things with the horns? That might be a representation of that parasite. And it makes sense because Sabi at the end, when she was becoming overcome with rust, she kind of started looking like one of them. Okay, let's head back to the hospital now.
So yeah, a lot to unpack there. But I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the story that Dot Flow tries to communicate is definitely unique among Yume Nikki fan games and just in general, I think. And I think it does it pretty well. Uh, it does a good job in conveying what in conveying its story through little bits and pieces given to you throughout the game. I think we go here? Yeah. But I hope you enjoyed- you guys enjoyed the game so far. Um... It's definitely up there in terms of uh, Yumi Nikki fan games that I enjoy. And it definitely has its own unique atmosphere and and story and stuff like that. It was fun. I'm glad. I'm glad. And thank you to Opalite for recommending that we play this game. I think the next Yumi Nikki fan game that we'll play after we, you know, do the next stream on Dot Flow for the extra events will be Yume Nishi, because that was also the Yume Nikki fan game that we were trying to decide between last time. It was either Yume Nishi or Dot Flow and Dot Flow won. It was very interesting. Yeah, Dot Flow was very interesting. And I definitely recommend um, if you like kind of the aesthetics of this game, I recommend checking out uh, more of Lol Rest's other work. Um, LOL Rest. That's what he goes by online. He's made other games as well. Easily top fan game for me. For themes and the three endings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I also like the whole end game as Rust. Because... Um... Sorry, I'm trying to think. The whole end game is Rust because it basically just opens up a bunch of like new experiences for you. And you can just wander around the game again and try and uh try and find new things. Nice cries. You mean Nishi Pog? Yeah. So we wanna go to the morgue, right? So here? This is the morgue, right? Is there anything different here as rest? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Let me look at the other rooms. Keep going, it's not this? Okay, like keep going further. Dot flow ending, nothing suspicious. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Quora. I'll definitely go back and, and check it out when I'm done streaming. But uh I can imagine what what it's like. Me trying to figure trying to uh make it seem like everything is okay. Everything's okay, nothing bad just happened. Uh Well, well. Is it in here? No, this is where the other side is the gun. God damn it, guys, stop bumping into me. You bump into me so hard I start bleeding. That's cool, cries. Though, though I ask that you uh, try and keep topics on on topic with the stream. Maybe I got confuzzled. Oh, okay. Thank you, cries. 
Yeah, we, we were just up here. That was the hospital where we saw the event. Let's see, is there anything on this side? Maybe here? Nah, this is just the, pla the plant area. Oh, we already killed this girl. I, I sometimes forget which NPCs stay dead after you kill them. Alright, so I think that's gonna end um, Dot Flow for today. Because we got the endings. We actually got more endings than I actually thought we were gonna get. But next stream will be focused on trying to find um, just kind of the, the extra events that we might have missed before. Let me see. Wait, let me see what we have here. We have Bedhead, the usual favorite leather shoes. Nice. So let's save. Oh, Nyabbit, my bad. Oh, it's fine, Opalite. Um, let's see. Let's put back on the music. Earthbound music. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming to the stream. I enjoyed it. Um, I was a bit more low energy today just because it's been a rough day for me. And also my body has been aching more recently. Probably because I haven't been moving around as much. Late night baka hours. I feel you. I have lots of late night baka hours. <laughs> but um... I hope you guys enjoyed that flow. Still gonna do one more stream, but after that, I'm gonna be moving on to Yume Nishi. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that as well, because I don't think I ever finished that Yume Nishi fan game, so I'm actually kind of intrigued as to what that'll turn out like. Thank you. And uh, just a heads up, I have a stream tomorrow. Um, I'll be playing Tabletop Simulator with Bumble Loops, Hair, and Koro. Um, I will most likely not be streaming this on my channel. Uh, so just keep a, a lookout for any tweets that I make. Wow! Keep a lookout for any tweets that I make um, where I'll be announcing it and I'll be linking you guys to either one of their chats, either Hair or Bumble. I'm, I, I know that Hair is streaming it, but I'm not sure about Bumble. Uh, just because... Um, I've just been tired recently and I don't think I have the mental capacity to prepare for streaming and then keeping track of like voice chat in the game as well so <laughs> thank you Opalite and thank you guys for coming to accompany this sleppy frange on their Yume adventures <laughs> alright let's see who we can raid Let's see who's online right now that I follow. So there is a yeah, good job. Go slip with your apple size bed. Yes. Um, what's even better is I imagine that I have like a full size human bed, but I'm just like a little apple frunge sleeping in it, and I make like a tiny dent in the pillow. Do 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 do. Do 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 Oh it looks like Picky is streaming Picky channel I was introduced to this channel through Cabal and I think this I, I really like her streams because I like the aesthetic of them. But let me see, how many viewers does she have? Can I raid her? I mean I guess I can raid anyone. But she'll just be like, who the fuck are you? Because she doesn't really know of my existence. <laughs> but I do like I do like her aesthetic. Oh god, she has 57 streamers. It's fine, I can raid her because I like her streams. But uh, Picky... How do I describe Picky? She has a very eclectic... A very eclectic, eclectic aesthetic. And she's also like really into re retro Japanese stuff. So um, she's actually doing a Showa retro 
where they look at 20s to 80s Japanese vintage stuff. Um, you'll see when you get there, but she has a very unique aesthetic and I really enjoy it. So let me see. Oh, she got a new model. Oh, damn, that's cool. Um, eclectic retro Showa gremlin, yeah. So let's raid her. Hopefully she doesn't end stream soon because she's been streaming for like two and a half hours already. Show a retro deep dyes are so good. I think this is the first one I've seen. But yeah, let's go ahead and see that. But yeah, th thank you again for coming to my stream, guys. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow in Hare's stream or Bumble stream. Um... And then I'll see you guys next week for some more dot flow. So yeah, thank you guys. Bye bye. Oh yeah, just uh, she should be going a while longer. Okay, that's good. Thank you for letting me know. Um, so here's the rain message if you have my emotes. Here's the rain message if you don't have my emotes. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Wait, let me pull up her stream on my phone first because I don't. I'm lagging a lot on my computer. All right. See you guys on the other side. Bye 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 bye